That was perfect harmony. Wow, that was great. That was good. Okay, yeah, you guys let's ready? get started. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Raw Reality Podcast. My Woo! name is Jason, and this is Nina. Hey. And today we have a very special guest. Keith Holland! All the way from New Jersey. Keith is an internet sensation who is blowing up right now. <laughs> so he's going to tell us a little bit about his journey Stop. on social media and a little bit about himself. Hi, I'm Keith. Um, hey, Keith. <laughs> Hi, Keith. <laughs> Hi. I needed something to like put my time and energy into because mm-hmm. I went through like a breakup. Okay. And so I was like, ah, I just went to the gym, just went like brain off mode. Yeah. And just started lifting and posting like TikToks to just like. Were Have they fun. lifting TikToks? No, uh, some of them in the beginning were, yeah, but mm-hmm. like they weren't doing well. And like the ones of me just going like, we're doing well. So I just mm-hmm. kept yeah. <laughs> doing those. The one blew up and I was like, oh shit. And then I just did it like 20 times. Okay. And so I just kept doing it over and over again. And, and that was the, like the Riz face one that blew up Kind of, yeah. Okay. It was like, that's when like the Chad's face stuff was like okay. super popular and stuff like that. So I was just like, let me hop on this train and mm-hmm. it, it worked. So. so what was it like when you blew up for the first time? Like, was your phone going crazy? Were you like yeah. hitting it with was very, it was very cool. endorphins? <laughs> like, Yeah, no, definitely. That's when I had like TikTok like notifications turned on. Uh-huh. And then it was like, throughout, I had to turn them off like the first day. It was like, Ding, 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 ding. It was, ding, yeah, ding, relentless. Ding. I was like, it's not normal, so I had to turn it off. It's wow. Small, yeah. It happened to me one time when I shot with a TikTok kid out in L.A., mm-hmm. and we posted a picture together on a story, and he had a cult following. I mean, cult following. Like, my most liked picture was, like, 1,000. Uh-huh. I posted a photo of him, 10,000 likes. Yeah. Like, 300 <laughs> comments, and I'm like, holy shit. So you had the viral video. So what happened next? Uh, I... I kind of just kept doing it. Just I, ran with it? Yeah, I figured, like, my mindset was, like, I feel like everyone has, like, their their blow-up thing on TikTok. Like, they have a video that does really well. Mm-hmm. And I figured, like, I could have, like, the small internet fame where it's, like, it blows up. I'm like, oh, cool, cool. And I just look at it and let it, like, burn out. Right. Or I can kind of, like, try and make a snowball effect happen and, like, try and keep the ball rolling. And I, I feel like I kind of did that. Yeah. You well. have been doing that pretty well. <laughs> yeah, because you've done the, the Chad face, mm-hmm. the no Riz versus Riz, <laughs> yeah. the water bottle, which has like <laughs> 18 parts to it. And then you also have been doing these like women feminist videos yeah, lately that, that, that have been fun. pretty hilarious that have been hitting really hard too, especially on like Instagram. Especially on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. TikTok's always hit or miss, but uh-huh. Instagram... And I feel well. like Instagram reels kind of like they were really popping like a couple months ago. And then now I feel like it's kind of a little bit slower. Like they're not doing the payout for it anymore, really. Yeah, we lost like the monetization. Yeah. For it. So I think that you still being able to hit views on there is pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. No, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's super interesting. Yeah, because it's like a completely different algorithm. But yeah. they're growing immensely. Like I think even. Uh, we had to record this a second time <laughs> because we sounded robotic in our first audio and we are perfectionists here at the Raw Reality Podcast. Mm-hmm. So this is our part two, but we talked about in that one how you had hit like 300K and then that same day you had already hit 330K. Yeah. And then I think now you're already... I'm at 350. Yeah. <laughs> Literally in like two Christ. days. Yeah. So that is insane. Like does... So when you when you like hit that huge thing, do you feel like it gives you like a little bit of an ego boost, or have you just basically stayed the same humble Keith? Because I feel like you have, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, I would like to think that I stay humble. Yeah. I would never want to be like I'm better, like no hierarchy kind of like bullshit. Like right, I don't know. I feel like you should treat everyone the same. But it's like I guess like do you feel a little bit like it kind of like fluffs up your god complex ever? Like you're like <laughs> oh these people love my mustache. I mean so, yeah, I mean you could dabble in the fun a little bit. Yeah. Like, oh it's fun to like be like oh I'm this dude. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's just like Keith is the most humble influencer I think I've met that has <laughs> he a million is. on TikTok. I agree. And almost 400k now on instagram which is insane because you literally just had 300k when we tried to record the first episode Mm -hmm. (laughs) shit those those feminine literature ones are hitting right now everyone go watch them those are fun yeah yeah if you haven't seen keith's videos yet go to his tiktok or his instagram (laughs) thank you we'll link it in the description But also, you've been kind of going out to L.A. a lot recently, and you're from the East Coast. For people that don't know, Jason had mentioned that Keith came in from Jersey to visit us, Mm -hmm. but 
what would you like say is your favorite like different part of each? Because they're both they're both like coastline, but they're different. So what do you like most about each one? A very niche thing is the sand is super different. Okay. Like going on the beaches at like New Jersey mm-hmm. and then going on the beaches in California, the sand will rub right off your feet. Weird. It's really weird. And like in New Jersey, it's like there's black sand that gets caught Ooh. in like the webbing of your toes and stuff like that. I haven't been to the beach on the East Coast ever. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like super fine. Interesting. And do you so feel like, like the people too are dramatically different? Like, oh, do you yeah. really Do you have like influencer culture as much in Jersey? Not at all. No, really? No. That kind of surprises I me. I couldn't name like one. <laughs> really? I don't think so, no. Shit. Well, in that case, then, do you feel like you're getting noticed more in Jersey since you're kind of blowing up a bit? I mean, I don't think I'm the, the resident... New Jersey, dude. You but, might be. Yeah, I don't know, dude. You got recognized at the fair in Iowa. Yeah, which is insane. A, f- a few times, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty that was cool. amazing. Yeah. Um, like, you're just randomly in Iowa. <laughs> like, hey, is that you from TikTok? Yep, yeah, that's sure what I wonder. Is. So do you, like, because I know TikTok is kind of location-based in a way, so it pushes the algorithm out to where you post usually. So that's mm-hmm. why I was wondering, like, if you get noticed at all in Jersey and how that kind of feels, because you grew up there. Mm-hmm. So. And you make a lot of running videos. I feel like people... Yeah. I've gotten a lot of beeps and honks. Yeah, you know, a lot of beeps. the running stuff, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. And people yelling out the window at you and shit. There's a few of them where I wish I, like, had it recorded, because mm-hmm. I... Ever since like I did the first one, right. where like people started like yelling stuff at me, I'm like, oh, now I want to keep my phone out all the time. But then I can't run. Yeah, you like, can't. Because I still want to like. Because I'm actually yeah. working out. I'm still like yeah. running. Yeah. Like a lot of those videos, just like me running like a mile, mm-hmm. and then being like, oh, and then I think of something funny, and then just record for something like ten seconds, and then I just put it in my pocket and I keep running. Mm. Like that's a lot so of. So those it. ones are real, actually. <laughs> I do actually run. Yes. Yeah, I do. I do work out. Yeah. We talked about in our first like little go about how some of the videos though you stage them. So can we talk oh, about yeah. that a little bit? <laughs> like you kind of told us a little bit about you staged one with your grandma. Yeah. So the one with my grandma, I think, is sitting at seventeen million views. Oh my yeah. god! It was really cool, like showing her like every million. She's like, "Oh my god, I'm famous!" I'm showing the guys at the gym. Oh my god! She's so fun. I love her. Um, but yeah, hers got like seventeen million, and it was like. Cause I like I track my food, mm-hmm. track my calories, so I can try to stay aesthetic. Yeah. But um, I would weigh food all the time, and it was a known thing that like, I guess like like bodybuilder esque mm-hmm. people will weigh their food and stuff like that. So the trend was like weighing food. So during Thanksgiving, it was like Thanksgiving Day. I was like, Grandma, can you just look sad when I pan up to you? She's like, Okay. And so I weighed my tur. I plopped turkey on a plate and under a scale and weighed it, and I panned up to my grandma, and she just goes like. Oh my god. And it went viral. And it went viral, yeah. And everyone was like, you're a piece of shit. Like, you gotta make your, your uh, like, half of them were like, your grandma's gonna die soon and you're gonna be upset when she does. Oh and you're gonna wish god. that you ate that turkey. Meanwhile, I stopped recording and just plopped my food on my yeah. plate and just pegged out. And your grandma was loving it. My grandma like, was yeah. like, was it funny? Did I do good? Yeah. And we tried to do the same thing for Christmas. That one didn't blow up. But That's I was like, so let me see funny. if I can do it again. Dude, I feel like if. That happened to me, and I had a video video go that viral. I don't think I could look at the comments. <laughs> like I'm too emotional of a person. Somebody would be like, "You suck," and it I'll be like, oh, "I suck." Oh I, my god! Me and my grandma were literally sitting there, like reading and laughing. It was That's so amazing. Fun. They were like, she, like one of them said that like she looked like Danny DeVito. And oh she was my god! Hard. She's like, I look like Danny DeVito. That's she found it hilarious. hysterical. Yeah. Oh my god. That's like the only video where I kind of like have like hate, I think. Yeah. Other than so that, you get right? nice comments for the most Mostly part. Mostly I though. get nice comments, yeah, which is, okay. you know, cool. That's good because <laughs> I feel like something that does come with the territory of getting followers and gaining traction, especially on TikTok, I feel like they're quite brutal on there compared to Instagram. Yeah. That you kind of just have to get a thick skin because even though you probably do get tons of good comments, there will occasionally be the random internet troll that wants to be a dick. We had a couple mm-hmm. on our YouTube short. Yeah, oh, yeah. just <laughs> one YouTube short and people talking shit. And I'm like... <laughs> the one that actually hit the algorithm. And I'm like, like yeah. fuck. They're like, so your funny. podcast is dog shit. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. her. For the most part, I don't I don't really get hate, which is That's which good. is good. I'll get the occasional like hate comment and then I'll just like it. Yeah. Or I'll oh. reply to it. They're like, this video like sucked, like it wasn't good. And I'll just reply like, sorry. And you're like, I love you. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get a DM later from the same person and be like, hey, I didn't mean that. Oh, and it's like, I've gotten yeah. a few of those where I just, I just oh. like it or I reply with like They're like, I didn't think nice. you were actually going to see it. Yeah. Sorry. It's like, what do you mean? I read my comments, dude. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny too. Like also I think that, that is part of the reason that you're like gaining this kind of cult following is that you're engaging with people. Yeah. And your comments back to people are, are funny. funny. As fuck. <laughs> like <laughs> that you. gets me stuck sometimes in your comment section just reading your responses because they're funny. Yeah, I yeah, like they're hilarious. People. I like I like going through the comments mm-hmm. and like actually like reading like what people have to say about it. Yeah. Even if it's just like a heart emoji. It's just like and that's oh, something to something our friend that you know, Brad, scumbag dad, yeah, he yeah. does too. He'll try to respond to as many comments as he can on his videos. Yeah, and I'll try to go through, like them all, and then if I see one... And I feel like that, that like pushes to. the engagement on the video, too, because yeah, people definitely. are going to read your comment, like your comment, like the Yeah, video. they see that I replied to a mm-hmm. comment, and they're like, oh, I want to comment now. Yeah, because maybe something. he'll respond maybe to me. Maybe he'll respond to me. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's so smart. It, boosts, that's smart. it definitely boosts engagement mm-hmm. for that reason, but it's also, like, fun. Yeah. Like, do you think that when you're posting on Instagram and TikTok, do you think that they have like a different rate at what they kind of blow up. So like sometimes I feel like when you post on TikTok, you get views quicker, but then maybe it will stop at 100K. And then Instagram, sometimes you'll get 100K really quick, won't get anything for like a week. And then all of a sudden it has like 10 million. Yeah. So I would say Instagram is more easy to predict. And I just like the Instagram algorithm better. Mm -hmm. Um, TikTok, it'll be like that. Like I could tell like usually most part um, if a video will do well within like the first hour or so. Interesting. So if it has like five, for me at least, because it varies for everyone, mm-hmm. for me, like five to 10K views within an hour, it's not going to do well. Okay. But like there's been times where like I'll post something and I'll check if it's like 40 minutes ago and it already has like 70K views. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, that's going to continue to snowball. Right. But then sometimes it'll go to like, it'll rip up to 300K and then just stop. Interesting. And it just stopped completely. And it's just like, why does it do that? Yeah, that's what I want to strange. Know. But Instagram, it's like, I oh, posted an hour ago. It already has like 80K views. That's going to do well. Yeah, like your one, your recent one, I think I looked when you had just posted it like two hours ago and it already had like 900,000. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I was like, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny too because they're just like these short form, like easy to make videos. Like you don't have to like really like put any... You know, yeah, not a lot of effort. Into yeah, like you and you don't have like to put that. like any like money. You don't gotta buy like props or. You gotta buy a lot of water bottles. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and pizza boxes. That's pretty valid. The pizza. Oh my god, we need to put like the pizza one up on the screen so you can see that because that one literally had me laughing out. Loud. I died. Those ones are. Those ones. Uh, I can't decide which ones are my favorite ones because like. But those ones are up there. The ones where you're just like, hey, look at this bag I found in the attic. Like, I actually was laughing so hard when I saw that one for the first those time. Those are fun. They actually, they take a little longer to film just because, mm-hmm. like, I like them to be, like, as perfect as I yeah. right. The fridge that one, actually. Like, literally that one's the funny fridge. Too. It took me, like, three hours, honestly, to edit it. And then when it comes to the algorithm, you said you can kind of predict the Instagram algorithm a little. Do you have, like, any tricks for hitting the algorithm? Because the algorithm's really favoring you these yeah. days. You're hitting <laughs> yeah. it hard. I mean, I try to, like theorize what mm-hmm. I could do to 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 help the algorithm and better it and make videos blow up more. Yeah. I think like definitely short form content always just will do better than long form. Mm-hmm. Um but I do try to post long form. But uh yeah, just like simple thing like very simple things like like making sure like the very first like point three to point five seconds is like Hey, like, like grabbing someone. Like an attention. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like okay. the, f- like the feminist literature ones. Like that one did like 7 million on Instagram or something like that. Jesus. And the first 0. 0.5 seconds is to be slapping books on the ground. And so it's never like a slow intro. Like, oh, I like have that. a question about that one actually. So no, go ahead. Yeah. When you did, cause the, when you mentioned the grandma one, it made me kind of think like, did you pre-plan this even though it was kind of a duet? So I saw the guy duet your feminist literature one mm-hmm. and he was like, Oh, you only have three books or whatever. Oh, yeah. Was so that's, that that's real? Professor Peppy. So no. So the whole thing was the feminist literature one where I sunk books mm-hmm. on the ground. That was his idea. He did it first. Oh. So what had happened was someone sent me a message on Instagram, like in the DMs, mm-hmm. of them recreating that video. So I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Mm-hmm. And so I did it, and I was like, ha ha ha. And then one of my friends, Chloe, who's who's friends with Professor Peppy, I guess, was like, oh, like. Did you see his video or something like that? And I was like, no. And I went to his his page, and it, he does the exact same stuff. I basically have been like copying this guy for like the past like couple weeks because like his videos is like, oh no, not my Taylor Swift CD. Oh, oh no, shit. And I'm like that's hilarious. But I've been stealing his. So I, I I message him. I was like, hey man, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I actually like stole all your content. He's like, oh you're dude, you chill. I like your videos. And I was like, all right, cool. And then we were talking. And he's like. Should I make a response video? And then we yes. made and then we made this response thing. And it was like, oh, cool. And then so I responded back to him. He's like, you got 
24 hours to show me a feminist book spread. Yeah, and then you're at like the oh LA my library. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that one was The funny. last bookstore. Yeah, yeah, that one was good. It was funny, but yeah, nice. so shout out to him for, that. Was, he's the original creator. The blueprint. He's the blueprint, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it would make you like think like a lot of things aren't original thoughts anymore. Like they all Mm-mm. stem off of each other at the end of the day. Yeah, I like giving credit where, where credit's exactly. due. Exactly. But um, yeah, 99% of what everyone does is like just, Copy paste it in a different yeah. format. And then That's you what forget, like, you don't even know who the original is. Yeah, you don't know who the original is. is and it's like, we'll always know who the original water bottle guy is, though, right? <laughs> I oh, hope so. yeah. Shit. And then it turns out there's somebody out there with 20 followers that's been doing <laughs> that's it for been six it. years. You fucking stole this. <laughs> this is bullshit. No, literally. Can you explain to people that don't know what your water bottle videos are like what the preface of that they're is they're fucking hilarious they are really yeah. funny they have 18 parts for a reason but <laughs> give us a, like a brief example of what it is so the first one i made i just thought it was because i made two of them mm-hmm. i just thought they were funny yeah. so it was like half thirst trappy half like just funny because i never want to do like full thirst traps because yeah. right i don't know that's just not you nobody not me, wants to yeah. it's yeah. cringe everybody's you know <laughs> yeah so I was like, let me make it funny, but still thirst trappy. Mm-hmm. So I was like, whatever. Um, so I was just like, oh, can I get like a sip of water? And then like the handsome version of me comes out and it's like the water bottle's like his cock. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, water here. And he puts it in his fucking mouth. He's like, here, oh take a sip. Bro, I was telling my dad that shit. He thought that was fucking hilarious. He's it like, is. he's like, I got some jokes I could tell him. Oh, dude, my dad loves it too. I got like five of the ideas from him. He's like, the, the little water bottle one? Oh, that yeah. Was, that one that was, was all good. him. He's like, you got to get like one that's like a millimeter and, and then have the guy make fun of him. <laughs> my dad loved like, like, helping out with videos and that's and fucking that's awesome yeah. i think that's super important to having that support system of your family oh definitely i love my like, my mm-hmm. mom and my dad like and then, i'm in my whole family but like they're awesome. super supportive yeah and you have a couple like your whimpering videos with them <laughs> that are pretty like up there too yeah i definitely. laughed really hard at the one with your mom like, yeah those oh, are also God. fake <laughs> see that is so interesting to like know you in real life and then know you online too and then see the videos you make and then i personally like even knowing you can't tell when it's fake or real like it yeah. just seems like it's always real to me <laughs> yeah i just think it's fun like whether mm-hmm. you believe it's real or not it's just like it's, it's entertainment it's, it's a funny video fucking hilarious. I, I would hope it's a funny video you know yeah. But. yeah that's the whole goal i think with tiktok and instagram people love funny videos mm-hmm. yeah or cat videos or dog videos but funny videos that's like all i I watch yeah <laughs> that and some photography videos but funny videos is Me where too. it's at that's why keith lives on my for you page. yeah <laughs> oh my god that. he was on my for you page all morning <laughs> yeah he was actually we we're sitting oh, there yeah. eating breakfast and <laughs> we heard the song yeah. the song come on and we're like is that keith on your account yep yeah it was like yesterday one of the songs like the one of the sounds that i used like a bunch like came up and it like gave me ptsd i was like oh shit <laughs> It's like one of the recoil videos. I was oh, like, oh yeah, bring the me recoil back. Recoil one. No, that like, how did you do that one? Were you using like something to no, make your lips like that? No, I think it's like a filter. No, you just like so the the trick that I would do is like you stand outside in the sun mm-hmm. and it's, it's the you ever see like the videos of like people playing guitar in the sun and where it makes like the the string all wavy. Uh-uh. So it's the same effect. I forget what it's called, but like if you just go in the sun, it makes it like. <laughs> <laughs> like go like that. Okay, we're going outside for you to show me this afterwards <laughs> yeah. because I need to know. I did like a tutorial video, but like it didn't blow up, so I was like, I guess we don't know. Yeah. Fuck it. Not the tutorial for the recoil. <laughs> yeah. But... With all with all your fame and your upcoming so quickly on social media, I mean you're at a million followers on TikTok, three hundred K plus on three hundred and fifty K now. Three fifty K that is in the past two days. Like let's recognize Yeah, that. on Instagram. So what what are your goals now? Because I feel like if I hit those goals, I would be I would be pretty set. But I know you you're not set. You're gonna make more videos. So like, what's kind of the end goal? You're gonna run with this, yeah, um, just as long as possible and do your thing. Or I think I'll never be set. No, yeah. in the sense of like, I don't want to be like I hit a million and then kind of be like I can relax. Now yeah, I'm at a million. It's like that. That's not really how it works because there's you see tons of people with like a million, even like five million followers, right? Like just posting like once a month and mm-hmm. having no engagement it's like i don't know but um yeah i, I never want to be set like oh i got it now i'm now i'm good it's never like a now i'm good it should be like a milestone it's like okay oh like sweet i did this now back to work right so now it's time for you to kind of get out there i would say yeah definitely so like this these past couple of months have been like Traveling. explosive with like 
like definitely growth on Instagram. Like I think it was literally like last month I was at like 200K. Jesus. Wow. And so like I hope that it continues to blow up in this nice healthy fashion. Yeah, yeah, because it, it turns into good income and then mm-hmm. you, you you don't have to have the nine to five. You can do your own thing. Yeah, luckily this is this is what I'm doing right now. Yeah, which so. is awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I just see nothing stopping you. Like yeah. your you. creativity and everything is off the charts. Thank you. I appreciate it. Not that. just because you're our friend, but right. it's, <laughs> your shit's funny as fuck. Thank you so much. Yeah. But that that's good to hear. So, like, do you plan on moving out of New Jersey? At some point, yeah. I think I'm, like, day by day, but it's also, mm-hmm. like... Right. I, I do want to stay in New Jersey for a little while longer, just so I can kind of, like, save and also just build everything that I'm doing right now. That's cool. But, um... Because traveling's, like, not that bad. Right. So it's yeah. like, if I want to go out to L.A. to do this and go up to New York, I'm, like, two hours away from New York to do something. Right. That's cool. So, yeah. Because I was thinking, like, with you and collaborations, a lot of your videos are solo, so mm-hmm. you don't necessarily need those collaborations. Like, as photographers, we need someone to shoot, you know. You can That's, do yeah. it all by yourself. I never thought about that, like, like collabs are like super powerful for they, they're guys, very you know, like, powerful for us yeah i think collabs are just powerful in general but like yeah like, do you do a lot of collabs i'd like to yeah i feel like i'm just not in like a niche like i feel like if you're in like the fitness niche it's super easy to just be like oh let's do a lifting video together mm-hmm. right but like i make water bottle videos, <laughs> water bottle videos and like feminist literature i don't know so it's like it's hard to like do a collab video but like, right I, I i i'm trying to dabble more with like skit stuff so skit stuff Hopefully soon I'll, I'll be able to collab with some people just do, like, funny stuff. Yeah, I think that's definitely a good way for you to go collaborations. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're really cool. And you told us, too, a little bit about how, like, we asked you, I think, if you had a five-year plan now that you're here, and you told us a little bit how, like, you have a degree and how... Can yeah. we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so, like, I guess it's a good plan B. I have mm-hmm. a, uh, a computer science degree. Which is Bro, crazy. Yeah. Which I don't think you're going to need to use it. <laughs> no, you're going to be. You're going to be it's just fine. I need to, it's fine. Yeah. But because um, I still like computers and stuff like that. And like my dad and my uncle are in the computer field. So it's like right. the networking connections is just like I could just, I could zip right into it if mm-hmm. I need. If you um, had to. If I had to, yeah. Last week. I don't need to. But. No, I don't think you need. I'm guessing six no. to eight months you're gonna be at <laughs> three to five million on tiktok oh my god I mean, and yeah, one cool. to two million on instagram i'm gonna put I guarantee you on you those it. like cheesy youtube game shows where they're like <laughs> guess the person oh my the god that would yeah. be great i'll go on jubilee yeah yeah, yeah. jubilee yeah i can yeah. see you easily doing one of those very soon so <laughs> that would be cool yeah especially you like going out to la did you say that recently was your first time going out there or? um i had gone out there for like a week and then like a month later, I went right back. So okay. this past week, I, I just came back from L.A. Like, I went I went from L.A. home for one day, and then I came here to Iowa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, it was very that's tight. A, that's tight a lot. Knit. Yeah. Especially when you're going coast to coast. That is a lot. Yeah. And, and then, you had to stay in the airport for 24 hours. Yeah, they delayed my flight. Why does that There's, happen to you there, all the it time? It happens so often. I've missed so many flights and stuff, and it's Oh, it's my God. Ridiculous. Petition for Keith to get a private jet. <laughs> it's so funny, though, sometimes, because, like, you can't do anything about it, so then no. I'll just, like... Take an edible and just like <laughs> chill out on the plane. It's funny because I airport. saw your story where you're like gonna eat an edible and watch one take. Is that one what? piece? One yeah. piece. And the, Jason was like, "How do you get an edible at the airport?" Yeah, that's the first thing I asked. You shall never tell. Hey, you know, you know, I found it on the ground somewhere. Yeah, got it at the gift shop. <laughs> Another question I wanted to ask you, kind of with all this new come found fame. Um, has it affected you at all? Like, do you feel, like, better as a person? Like, has it gotten to your head at all? Because, I mean, a million and three hundred and fifty, sixty thousand is a lot of followers. Uh, I feel like I used to obsess over it, but it's, I feel like, unhealthy to do that. It yeah. is. Definitely. Like, you're just constantly watching the follower count, and it's like, ultimately, it should just be like, are you having fun? Right. You know, it's like, if you're having fun, it, it's not going to matter if you have like a hundred thousand or 10 million. Right. It's like, it's only if you're having fun doing it and like you're doing it well, 
And I feel like the fact that you're having fun in the videos, it shows through the yeah. video. So then you're mm-hmm. getting more likes because people can tell that it's like authentic fun. You're not faking I it. I hope it you're, shows you're it. like it does. I'll be like editing and giggling at myself. Yeah, <laughs> like, like they're like funny. Sometimes I think I'm like narcissistic, but you're I'm not like funny. yeah, you're a likable person <laughs> and you're funny and the skits are funny. So it just makes out for like a trifecta. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got the height, looks. You ever thought about going into acting? I feel like my acting chops are not there. I feel like if someone kind of like gave me, be like, here, try this, I'd, I would try it. Would you ever take acting classes? Maybe. I've you thought could be about in it. a movie. I yeah. think you could yeah. be in a movie, dude, <laughs> you for could sure. Be in a movie. I'll act, yeah. Like especially sure. when you do the, like the if you, narrator like voice. Like when you're on you LA and someone fun. drives past you, just like, um, what's his face from Euphoria? Oh, the, Angus Cloud. Yeah, oh, RIP Angus, but like. You know, he got spotted off the street. Like, you're in L.A., you could get spotted off the street. You never know. That's true. You know, and then you can be this big-time actor. I just see you doing a backflip at Venice Beach, and they're like, <laughs> hey, I got to approach that guy. Yeah, cool. you never yeah. know. You never yeah. know. I like adventures. I'll do, I'll do anything. Yeah, I could see you in, like, a comedy being, like, even or even, like, a villain. I feel like you could play a villain. Yeah, character. like, I'll curl up the mustache yeah, yeah, and yeah. be a villain. And do your... So Keith does this thing. Sometimes he will read some of the funny DMs he gets in this narrator voice. <laughs> oh, and yeah. It literally is my favorite thing in the whole world. Can I have a sip of water? You have to start like a, a series of that, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll start like a, uh, is it Audible? Audible yeah, page? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Been in Iowa for about a week now. We went. To, we all went to the fuck motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. The Iowa State Fair. What did you think about it? It was really fun. It was way, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because we have fairs in New Jersey, but, like, they're, like, you know, they're tiny. Like, when I think of a fair, I think of, like, like three rides. Right. Yeah, yeah but, like. Like a county fair. Like a county, yeah, like, yeah. we have our county fairs, but, like. I, I guess, guess Iowa's is the fifth biggest one in the United States. The yeah. fifth? It yeah. was humongous. It yeah. lasted 10 days. Like, 10 days. Is ten, 10 days in a long but time. But I guess, like, 1.1 1. 1 or 1.2 million people People came showed out up. To it too. Trump, really? Trump came one day. <laughs> yeah. We missed that yeah, day. Yeah, Ludacris. Ludacris was oh my there. God. Yeah, I didn't know. That violinist. Yeah, Lindsey Sterling yeah, was yeah. playing a concert and there. And it looked like she was going hard. Jeff Dunham was there. Really? Yeah, that that I would have paid to see that. I would have paid yeah, to see too. that. What's your favorite food that you ate at the fair? The turkey leg. The turkey yeah. leg, dude. Yeah. That turkey so, leg so freaks primal. me out, it's bro. So fun. I've, I feel like I'm in the Renaissance and someone's going to come and get me or some shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> that turkey leg freaks me out. Yeah, we talked about it last time, but the Renaissance fairs are super fun. Yeah, I yeah. want to go to one. Yeah, so I had, I had my first turkey leg there and I was like, this is great. I want to beat someone's ass with one of those fake swords. <laughs> Oh, do a jousting? Yeah. Oh my wow. God. They had jousting at the one Renaissance fair. That'd where, be like, lit the, as the fuck. Thing just explodes and they don't fall. Mm. Damn. Do you have anything big coming up? Any uh, big TikToks, traveling? Um, I mean, I'm going home today, actually. Okay. And then um, in a week, I'll be back in LA doing stuff. So nice. I'll be at like a young LA meetup. Uh, meeting some people, meeting some so, friends, and so stuff. like a connection thing. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, definitely. And then um, the there's the New York Fashion Show thing that I'll hopefully be going to. That'd be cool. Do you get to be in it? I hope so. That'd be cool. Dude, that'd be fun. That'd be awesome. Uh, and then I'm trying to figure out if I should go back to LA right after that because they're having like this one piece yacht party, and I'm like, bro, that sounds awesome. I want to go to that. Sound that's one that's, thing is experiences, bro. You always will remember experiences. That's why I'm thinking about going, like, because it's like LA, New York, LA, and then back home, and then yeah, it's a lot of travel. Probably back like, somewhere else. Probably back, back somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah making TikToks with big ass creators. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, definitely. That'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah, it would be. I can imagine, like, in your water bottle videos, some random person. You yeah, just maybe that's piss it something of. that you could do with me. I tried to get in crossover. contact with Johnny Sins. To oh, see what they could do. Like, he's, he's too up there. So it's like, No, there. dude. No that's, I've <laughs> learned that you can get a hold of anybody, bro. You're one person away from Terry Joe. Yeah, I was Shit. supposed to meet up with, uh, his name's Tyler GD. Shout out to Tyler. Uh, we look very much alike. Okay. And anytime I, I found out about him because anytime I would go live, there would be literally be like 10 to 20 people per live. I would go live for like an hour. Be like, I thought this was Tyler. I, sw- I swore this was Tyler. Like, this is, is, is this, this not Tyler? Tyler? And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And I had to look him up. I'm like, oh, he does look a lot <laughs> like me. But he's more shredded than me. I'm like, fuck. Okay. He's like built more than me. That would be super funny. So you guys <laughs> so, yeah, so collab together. I wanted to too. meet up with him in LA, but I, I missed him. So mm-hmm. definitely at some point in the future, I'll, I'll, I'll meet up with him. I think he is like, Based 
at a New York or something oh, okay. like that. So I'll probably I'll probably meet up with him at some point, get you a should. doppelganger picture. Oh yeah, that would be really cool. That would be cool. But the other day we held the uh, Pexels meetup, which is mm-hmm. a photo stock website that we post to, and we kind of forced you to come, <laughs> and you were you were one of the main models. I was having fun. It was really cool. You you think so? Yeah, definitely. Keith scaled Good. a building. Yeah, Keith <laughs> I climbed the a video. fucking building. Oh my god, we'll have to link that video. Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen right here so you can see. Climb one of those old fashioned ladders on the side yeah. of the buildings. Oh, I thought he literally had... climbed the side of the brick building before <laughs> reaching the ladder. It was. I was like, I was like, oh, should I? I didn't want the ladder to fall down. Yeah, I just didn't want to right. break the side of the mm-hmm. building. I mean, it, the building was condemned. Yeah, anyway, the building was so. fucked. Still. Yeah. No but one yeah, would know. But yeah, I feel like era, people were pretty excited that you came. Male models know, too. Because male really models are hard to get. It's models. mostly yeah. female. Yeah. All we the had time. quite a bit this time. I think we had Izzy and then yeah, we had Steven was quite a few guys this model. year. So more than we normally have. At least usually it's like all girl models. So mm-hmm. Jacob got some good ones of you too. Yeah, that he posted. Yeah, those were fire. Those are fire. Yes. Shout out Jacob. But. You literally, I forgot, I wanted to talk about this in the beginning, and so I'm going to backtrack a little bit, but Mm -hmm. you came in March when we met you for the first time, and at that point, you said you were around, like, 20K. It was, like, 20K on Instagram. Wow. I was probably, like, like me... I could check, but it's probably, like, 500 to 600K on TikTok or something like that. So you've grown, like, basically 500K on TikTok, and then literally like 320k on instagram yeah. just <laughs> since march that's insane which is insane mm-hmm. and do you feel like in that case do you think it's a mixture of like your reels hitting and getting track traffic from tiktok or do you think like you're getting like that boost and following on instagram like solely from your reels popping off i think um that whole span up until like 20k was mm-hmm. definitely solely like the tiktok traffic that okay. i was because i would push people from from tiktok like mm-hmm. i would pin my own comment and be like follow my instagram on every okay. single video so it's like i would push a lot of people in there yeah. so um in the beginning though my instagram blew up a little bit organically for okay. me just because i wanted to do like modeling stuff mm-hmm. so i would post like pictures and then i wouldn't traffic people from uh tiktok so that got like 10k and i was like all right Time to funnel. Yeah. And then I'd funnel people. I got up to like 20K and I was like, all right, let me just post reels. And then those didn't do well for months and months and months. And then the really? sip of water ones was the actually. That's the, what that's hit the first thing. Time so, so keep okay. trying till something hits. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Enjoy yeah. the journey, you know. Right. But uh, yeah, like I put out the water bottle videos and then a month later it blew up. Was it like a really quick growth once you like put out that first water bottle video? Yeah. Okay. Like I have a like highlights thing on my Instagram where it shows mm-hmm. like it's like a week span. I got like 100, 150K or something like that. And that, that was after how many water bottle videos too? So that was, if I had a guess, maybe like six or seven Okay, of them. so consistency is also pretty strong. Which yeah, I feel like being people consistent. do preach a lot about like social media consistency strategies and stuff. King. But it's, it's, it's really, cool really to important. see it like be actual, like, like actually effective to someone that we know mm-hmm. to like a, a big scale. Like you're scaling massively. Like I feel like at this point, by the next time you come back, Maybe you'll be at like a million on that's Instagram. What I, I hope that's so. what I said. Really cool. I said give it six months. Uh-huh. He's going to be at least three to five mil on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And at least a million on Instagram. Yeah. No I would doubt about so. it. That would be cool. If you keep it up, which I'm, I'm sure you will, and your videos are fucking hilarious. Because your videos aren't like the repetitive ones no. where people do the same shit every time. Like right. your water bottle videos are different. Your pizza box and plastic bag over your face, you yeah. know, whatever. <laughs> They're different. You're not just doing pizza box every single time. Yeah. You're being creative with it. It's like same template, different format. Yes, yeah. and that's what I like because every time I see one of your new videos pop up, I'm like, oh, shit, what's this one going to be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, You know like, what I mean? I'm not like, oh, he's doing this again, you know? It's yeah. like, oh, this will be funny as fuck. It's like people get familiar with, like, the template, like, the, like yeah. it's the water bottle series yeah. or something like that, but it's like... I try to make it extremely different with each video. You could turn it into like a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Hire a big camera crew. Yeah, that'd be yeah, the fucking BTS funny. Of the water bottle. <laughs> behind the bottle. No, that sounds like an alcohol uh, behind the bottle. story or something. <laughs> Never mind. Scratch that one. I'll start no. my own water bottle company called Sip of Water. Oh, oh dude, that's actually a really good idea to start <laughs> no, a water bottle company. That's smart, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'll do I it. think we you just already came. have the audience. Yeah, or you take your face on it. Oh my God! You we talk about that. Liquid Maybe death Liquid and Death collab. and you I collab. Do, I would do a collab with Liquid Death. Hey, Liquid Death, they're really cool. You, you know want what to a do? Collab with Keith for real. 
I'll hold it. I'll hold it right here. It'll make it funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'll start doing with cans. Yeah. I mean, maybe they'll create like a glass bottle for you or something. That would be as cool. As the collab. That would be crazy. That would be kind of crazy. You have had a lot of your family, like your grandma in your videos, and then the recoil one with your mom and dad. <laughs> um, so obviously, like, they're supportive of this, and they're, like, supportive of you not going through, like, with your degree stuff. Like, yeah. is that, like, just awesome to have? Like, tell me a little bit about, like, having that support system. It's de- it's probably, like, the number one thing to have. It's mm-hmm. so great. Like, I'm very, very lucky to have, like, super awesome parents. Yeah. Like, it's, like, super supportive. Like, it was, like, um, I want to say, like, October, November, December, somewhere in that range. It was like I had like 100 or 200K on, mm-hmm. on TikTok, and I was like, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to do. Man. I enjoy this. Way too early for me to like be like, yeah. this is what I'm doing. Still, it's pretty good. But, yeah, because yeah. I got inflated ego because like the mm-hmm. one month the recoil videos did well, and I made like two, two and a half grand from nice. the creator fund. Oh, so from it was, the creator really, fund. Yeah, so it was yeah. really good. But, you know, then the month's coming was like $100 in a month, and it's like, <laughs> it, it happens. But, um, I was like, I took that money and I bought um, a PC okay. and then fixed up my car a little bit too. So yeah. I, I utilized it and mm-hmm. buy like a cool watch or something. No, new right. shoes. New shoes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. New chain. <laughs> but um, yeah, I bought the computer, started streaming, doing nice. stuff. I still stream and stuff you like that. you stream on Twitch? Or I stream tick? on Twitch. Okay. I eventually want to start streaming on TikTok and stuff like that. Definitely YouTube. Cool. Just like, like doing like, gaming stuff? or Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, whatever, you know, because I'll... I reviewed like YouTube videos one time. Oh. I was just like, I kind of just do whatever, have fun with it. That's cool. But yeah, like so that. definitely multi streaming. I feel like that's cool too. It's it gives your audience a chance to like engage with you. Right. Yeah, that, live I like I like going live. It's like and FaceTime. Stuff. With it's a bunch it's of live friends. comments at that yeah. point. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, cool. That's cool. Is there good money in streaming? There can be. I, yeah. I think it depends on how you do it. Mm-hmm. You know, because I mean, you could be like, uh, donate, 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 like the AI yeah, trend. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I never like incentivizing people to, to donate yeah. money. Yeah. Right. Just feels I'd like, feel weird. I'd be like, I'd rather them just do money. it if they want to do it. Yeah, you know yeah. But um, there was one time, um, because I mean, I used to do it, but I wouldn't like pedal. No. I would be like, oh, if you send me like a galaxy, I'll do like this, a backflip into the pool. And I would <laughs> sit on TikTok live. This was like early, early, like last july okay. or something like that when i was i was sitting at like 100k or something like that okay. i'd be like if you send me a, i'd be in my pool and i'd have like a thousand viewers concurrently and i'd be like if you send me a galaxy i'll do backflip into the pool i get like three galaxies i'd go up and do backflips into the pool oh, keep is like, really good at doing he's very good reason. at backflips very good he did a backflip at the fair too maybe i'll throw that video up on the <laughs> it was screen. fun yeah yeah, it was funny. So you're killing it in social media. You're a good looking guy. Thank you. You know, um, I'm assuming you get a lot of DMs from girls. Um, I gotta know this. <laughs> With a million I mean, followers, you know, the DM ratio's gotta be up there. I do I do indeed get DMs. I'll probably get maybe like thirty ish a day it depends on if a video does well right or something like if a video does well pops off i'll get like a hundred or something like that and sometimes you know sometimes they are like hey yeah (laughs) love your muscles love your muscles (laughs) nice mustache hit me with your water bottle oh please especially when those are doing well like it was like like by forty a day, it was just like, can I get a sip of water? Can I please get a sip oh of water? Oh my god! And I would repl- I would, would reply. I like replying to people. Sometimes. Yeah, that's funny because I do read all my DMs and stuff. But like, they'll be like, oh, I love your videos, and I'll just send like a close up picture of my face or something. It's so funny. <laughs> it's just fun fucking to do. awesome. Yeah. It's fun. So to for the, all the girls out there watching this right now, are you single? I am single. Yes. You single ladies. I got out of a relationship and I'm I'm single. And oh, mingling, shit. yeah. Oh, and mingling. He's on the, <laughs> he's on the fucking prowl. Oh, I'm on, watch out. <laughs> I'm a predator. Who needs a sip of water? Wait, <laughs> Wait I'm not a predator. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> Mm, no, no, no. no predators. That's a that's a funny clip. <laughs> that's a funny clip. Well, I think we got a lot of good stuff today with Keith. We appreciate you coming on. Yeah, yeah we really do. Yeah, appreciate it. Of course, of course. I'm gonna drop the, in the description Keith's social media. You'll definitely want to go check out the No Riz versus Riz water bottle, <laughs> the feminist videos. They are all so hilarious. You'll definitely get stuck watching them. And <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to have a reunion with Keith eventually 100%. when he hits a bajillion followers by yeah, the next absolutely. time we see him. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for coming on with us. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see the next time that Keith joins us with his growth and <laughs> social media stuff.
Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for being on, brother. Woo. See ya. All right, peace out, guys. Peace. peace.